सो हे गाइज अगेन वेलकम इन माई चैनल विच इज टेक टू टू वर्ड सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू होस्ट अ स्टैटिक वेबसाइट ऑन एस थ्री बकेट विद द कस्टम डोमेन नेम सो दिस इज माई ब्लॉगिंग साइट एंड आई हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड द ब्लॉग ऑन द सेम टॉपिक एंड दिस टाइम आई एम ऑल्सो मेकिंग अ वीडियो फॉर यू ओके सो एस थ्री बकेट इज अ ऑब्जेक्ट लेवल स्टोरेज you can store any number of object in bucket and can have up to 100 buckets in your account so uh, the another service we will use route 53 so route 53 is highly available and scalable cloud domain name system dns service and enable you to customize dns routing policy to reduce latency so uh, we are using following services route 53 and uh, s3 bucket so in step 1 we are going to register a custom domain name in route 53 so right i am going to uh, the route 53 service okay great so in the host uh, click on the hosted zone <laughs> so this is uh, the route 53 hosted zone and i have already created a hosted zone uh, on the route 53 service and the my domain name is uh, the free uh, do, free wala domain dot tk so if you guys haven't uh, created hosted zone uh, yet then please go and uh, host your uh, domain name in route 53 because this process Uh, would be easy if you host your domain name in route 53 right so uh so just uh, click on the domain name and here is the my dns records okay so we got uh, ns record and soa record and cn name record by default so in okay So in step two, create a bucket with your actual domain name and upload a simple index.html file or your source code. So note, a bucket should be in U.S. East North Virginia region, and for the domain bucket, freewala domain dot com. Okay, let me tell you here. So uh, this is not a recommended option to create a bucket in the North Virginia region. but uh if you create a bucket in north virginia it would be a great option uh to configure your services easily okay uh this is uh, my practice and uh this is my experience with the north virginia region uh, i didn't face uh, any problem but in other region i faced some problem so that is why i am uh, telling to you guys okay so now we are going uh, to do step 2 uh, which is uh, for s3 bucket so just click on s3 bucket okay so now uh, click on create bucket okay so uh, the bucket configuration dashboard uh, it's open in front of us and in the general configuration tab uh, we have to write the bucket name and make sure guys uh, your bucket name should be your domain name okay so what is my domain name my domain name is freewala domain dot tk so uh, let me copy it and paste over the s3 bucket section okay so my bucket name is going to uh, similar to my domain name and i'm going to choose a uh, region north virginia as i already told you and in the acl option by default i will uh, uh, go with recommended and block public access setting for this bucket so we are going to unblock all public uh, access because uh, we are going to host our a uh, website so i want uh, so we want to uh, show our website to publicly to the globally to all the uh, all the people and all the users so we have to unblock this option okay 
and turning off block all public access uh, might result in this bucket and object okay so this is the warning and we have to click on it and bucket versioning we uh, we uh, we should uh, enable it and um, leave it tags as a default default encryption additional setting and just click on uh, the create bucket okay so okay so my bucket is created here and finally we have created and we have now we are going to in our uh, website and in the step 3 edit the permission tab okay so in permission edit the bucket policy and paste the following code replace the highlighted word with your domain name so let me uh, let me click on the permission tab first of all first of all then we will go with uh, the another option so now uh, we have to click uh, on our bucket name okay and in the top uh, in the top side you can see uh, the permission tab which is in uh, number three so just click on here and just uh, uh, drop down and you can find uh, the bucket policy and just click on add it here okay okay so now uh, again come on the website and read this section in permission tab edit the bucket policy and paste the following code replace the highlighted word with your domain name only okay so what is it uh, I will tell you so this is the bucket policy actually uh, uh, this policy will uh, will public your data okay so this policy will uh, uh, public your data and uh, on the bucket right so just copy and paste over the notepad okay so according to the blog we have uh, we just need to replace our uh, domain name here so this is the domain name uh, this is my domain name freewala domain dot tk but if you guys are doing with your actual domain name like example dot com or something else so just replace the domain name only and don't change anything uh, syntax okay so I'm going uh, I'm doing it with uh, my domain name which is uh, the freewala domain dot tk it's already placed here and now I'm going to copy it from the notepad I'm and going to paste on s3 bucket policy so just paste over the bucket policy section and make sure uh, make sure uh, between the syntax uh, should not uh, leave a space blank space so in the first option in the first line you can see uh, one is uh, ex uh, in the first line have extra blank space so just I'm going to delete it uh, the extra blank okay so now it looks uh, correct and in the final option just click on save changes okay so we have successfully edited our bucket policy and it is a uh, public now okay so the accessible is public okay so in the step 4 edit the properties tab so in properties tab come on static website hosting and enable it okay so uh, what is it I'm uh, let me tell you so now we have to uh, come on properties tab and uh, in and in the actual form now we are going to uh, host our uh, we are going to public our static uh, website here okay so just click on enable and after enabling it just write the index.html 
because we are going to uh, we are going to live our website uh, through index.html file and uh, this is the error documents the optional and the redirection rules also a optional option so you can leave it as a default and just click on save changes okay so we have successfully edited the static website hosting okay and now what we need to do here okay just write the index.html under index document section then save okay copy the bucket public URL in run in browser okay so I think uh, one option is uh, missing or we did uh, okay create a bucket with your actual domain name and upload a simple index.html file or source code I think uh, we missed uh, the step 2 actually we need to uh, upload a index.html file a single index.html file or our source code so uh, right now I don't have a source code complete source code so for the testing purpose I will just upload a single index.html file okay so I'm going to create a single index.html file in my desktop okay so just creating an index.html file this text document and index okay index.html file and I'm going to write something uh, here SDATIC work okay so just save it and close it and okay so uh, just click on upload option and click on add files desktop okay so this is my index.html file and I'm going to upload it here and if you have a complete source code of your website so you can just select and also you can drop down here so just I'm going to uh, drop down okay so I selected a file index.html and just click on uh, just select the particular file and click on upload okay so this file is going to upload okay the file is successfully uploaded and just uh, okay index.html.txt okay I think uh, the file okay I I, I, I think uh, it's uh, the wrong extension here index.html.txt uh, because uh, it it's happening because of uh, I did create a a simple file simple text file so that is why it's happening but what will uh, what I will do I will just create I will just delete it and will create again so just I'm going again in my desktop and create index.html file text document index dot html okay so just rename it we'll go to properties it's swing no
राइट टू टूवर्ड्स में नहीं है क्या Okay, uh, so guys, I'm uh, going to do it again. This process, uploading process. Actually, uh, I'm hap. Uh, I'm facing an issue with the index.html file, but now I have downloaded the source code uh, from the Google, and now I'm going to upload here. So just click on the upload and click on the add files. So this is my source code directory, and this is my a uh, simple source code and i will copy all these files and you can say all those uh, source code and just drag and drop here and just <coughs> okay and uh, select all the files from the top menu and click on the upload section so it will take a uh, less than a minute or maybe 2 or 3 minutes to complete the this process so i am going to pause this video and i will resume it again once the process will successfully complete okay so files are successfully uploaded here and now what we need to do we just click on the property section and just a uh, little down and comes on the static website hosting and copy your temporary url and just copy paste over the web and just press okay so my website is going to load okay that's great so this is my website and this is my source code which is live on my s3 bucket okay so but it's not enough and now uh so you can see this is the custom you are uh, this is the uh s3 bucket url which is the freewala domain dot tk s3 website us is the amazon and dot com so this uh, this is looking uh, very weird and uh, now what now we are going to uh, configure a custom domain for it okay so as we have already discussed like uh, uh just Uh, for the S3 uh, for the route 53 okay so this is my route 53 domain and uh, just come on the website again okay so edit the permission tab okay we have uh, already did it and step 5 go to the route 53 and map the e record with s3 bucket url and the type uh, record type will be e record and enable alias choose endpoint alias to s3 bucket and the uh, select region and endpoint okay so in the route 53 section just come here click on create record and record type would be a record okay is it by default already selected and the domain is freewala domain dot tk just enable the alias option okay and route traffic should be alias to s3 website endpoint okay region should be uh, north virginia and s3 bucket endpoint url okay so let me tell you uh, first of all uh, before going to do this process and i will let you know uh, what is uh, coming on my domain name okay so when i am going to enter domain name on browser so what will show so this is showing this site can't be reached so this is the because uh, the dns has not configured on this domain so okay and just click on create record okay so dns propagate your changes to all record so we have successfully uh, configured a record and we have uh, pointed to with our s3 bucket uh, endpoint url okay so now i am going to again reload this page and see what will happen okay so this is not loading yet 
I'm going to open it again in new tab okay so it will take few minutes uh, to propagate the DNS properly so I'm going to pause this video once it will done I will resume it again okay uh, so guys it's successfully propagated uh, now and it took almost three minutes to uh, completely uh, DNS propagation time so let me uh, show you again uh, in the incognito tab so just opening it and just going to paste over there and just click here so now this uh, website is also opening in uh, the custom domain name also and uh, my second video my next video will be on uh, with the HTTPS and host our uh, host your S3 bucket with uh, SSL okay so thank you